Welcome to Virtual Labs at National Institute of Technology, Karnataka. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you the experimental procedure for flow through pipes. This is the experimental window. And aim of this experiment is to determine the frictional losses encountered in a hydraulically smooth pipe and to determine the effect of Reynolds number on friction factor for laminar and turbulent flow as well. And finally, verifying Blasius and Nikuratse correlations. And let's see how we can do experiment with this tool. This is the line diagram for experimental setup. And this is the fluid reservoir. Fluid is being pumped through this pipe. And required flow rate of the fluid can be set using this valve by opening and closing the valve. And the reading flow rate can be read from this rotameter. These are the pressure tappings connected across the pipe. And this is manometer. CCL4 manometer. The pressure drop can be read from th uh, as the difference between these two limbs. And now the experimental procedure. Select a pipe diameter. This pipe diameter. And enter pipe length. Let's some 500 centimeter. That is the length between these two tappings and select a fluid. In real experiment, we can do experiment with only water. But here, this is the virtual lab. You can select any fluid. You can make any fluid flow through your pipe. And now, do experiment with set a flow rate of 1 LPM. And press button, calculate DP. This is opening the wa uh, valve and setting the flow rate at 1 LPM. Reset means open the wall little more and enter another flow rate. Let 3 LPM and calculate DP. This gives the pressure drop. This 6.94 centimeters is the difference between these two limbs. And set another flow rate. Open the wall more. 4 LPM. Then keep doing the experiment for 7 to 8 readings. Keep increasing the flow rate. Something like 5.5. 6.5. Some 9 LPM. 11 LPM and it is showing manometric fluid is overflowing okay this is the time for us means after at higher flow rates this CCL4 overflows so this is the time for us to change it to HG manometer so change the manometer and follow the same procedure calculate DP and repeat the experiment for 7 to 8 readings even with the uh, HG manometer. Something like 15 LPM, 20 LPM, 25. HG manometer gives very l less heights even at higher flow rates. That is why we use uh, HG manometer at uh, higher flow rates. Yeah. Now all these readings can be seen by clicking the display results. What are the flow rates you have done experiment with and what are their corresponding pressure drops. These are the flow rates you have done experiment with and these are the pressure drops. So with these results, students are supposed to calculate Reynolds number and friction factor. Finally, uh, get a relation between Reynolds number and friction factor by drawing a uh, plot. 
so this sample calculations i'll show this is the diameter of the pipe actual diameter of the pipe and length of the pipe density of water viscosity density and viscosity and density of ccl4 uh, let's do sample calculations for uh, 5 lpm flow rate and at 5 lpm the pressure drop is 19.96 centimeters ccl4 and delta hm is manometric fluid is 19.96 and volumetric flow rate of the fluid 5 lpm and we'll convert let's convert that into meter cube per second keep all the units in uh, si keep all the units in si units and pressure drop in meters of water column this is uh, centimeters of ccl4 let's convert that into meters of water column then cross sectional area of the pipe pi by 4 d square this is the average velocity of the fluid through the pipe is volumetric flow rate divided by cross sectional area this gives this value and reynolds number dv rho by mu d is the diameter of the pipe V is the velocity, rho is the density of the fluid and mu is the viscosity of the fluid and we get 6715. Friction factor is calculated using the Blasius correlation 0 0.079 by NRE power 0.29. This is this value and experimental friction factor can be found with this hagen poiseuille equation. This is the value. and doing this exper and nikuriyat say correlation and uh, doing this uh, calculations for all the readings and plotting a graph between uh, blasius f blasius versus nre on log log graph and this uh, to verify nikuriyat say correlation draw a plot between 1 by root of th this quantity and this quantity on a semi log graph these are the calculations for all the readings uh, different flow rates at uh, in meter cube per second and hf is the pressure drop in meters of water column velocity reynolds number friction factor experimental friction factor blasius and uh, one by root of uh, f experimental nre multiplied by root of experimental these these two are for uh, to verify nikuratsa correlation and now coming to the experiment after performing all these uh, calculations students can check out their values whether the entered Reynolds number and Blasius uh, friction factor whether correct or not this can be done in this go to self evaluation select a set of readings CCL4 manometer and now we have done experiments these are our values we want to check out these values enter a flow rate one these windows can be uh, resized accordingly our uh, requirement at flow rate one the Reynolds number calculated by the student is 1343 and here enter integer values for uh, Reynolds number enter uh, friction values for friction factor up to fourth decimal 
फ्रिक्शन फैक्टर इज ब्लेशियस फ्रिक्शन फैक्टर एंटर जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन थ्री जीरो टिल फोर्थ एंड प्रेस नेक्स्ट एंड एंटर नेक्स्ट फ्लोरेट थ्री रेनॉल्स नंबर कैलकुलेटेड इज फोर जीरो थ्री वन द फ्रिक्शन फैक्टर इज ब्लेशियस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो नाइन नाइन enter next all these values can be checked out here 4 can be rounded off to nearby integer 00 Nine two five. Uh, Reynolds number is six seven one eight six seven one nine. Friction factor is zero point zero zero eight seven. Yeah, same thing. All the readings can be checked out. and next go for hedge manometer readings set eleven and one four seven eight one one four seven eight one uh, friction factor is Zero point zero zero seven one. It can be seven two. Floret. Uh, some other floret. You enter twenty five floret. Floret twenty five. This one. Three three five nine four. Three three five nine four, three three five nine four, and its uh, friction factor is zero point zero zero five eight. Enter next. Okay, this checking can be done for all the readings. And one more thing, if you enter any value, any flow rate with which you have not done experiment, it gives an error. Not an experimental flow rate with hedge manometer. Okay, leave it. Then go for comparison plots. Click on this. See, these are the comparison plots. This is uh, plot between. Re Reynolds number calculated by the simulator and Reynolds number calculated by the user points are almost on the diagonal this diagonal is ideal if both the values are coinciding exactly points will be on this graph line and same with this uh, friction factor this point is away from the diagonal line means this value is wrong so students can check check out their value and then click on f versus nre this is the um, sample graph for f versus nre on log log scale actual plot should be of this and student got the uh, plot this this is the user plot is almost coinciding so his values are almost near so then click on mark subtend this is because you are no value of yours is coinciding with the simulator calculated value let's see here reynolds number is correct but the friction factor is not correct up to fourth decimal here reynolds number itself is wrong 
and here Reynolds number is wrong. Reynolds number is wrong. So even though your values are almost nearer, these are not exact values. So you got zero marks. And at any point of time, uh, you can go to experimental window by just clicking this. This is the experimental window. And this is how you will proceed with this uh, simulation tool. Thank you.